Hello guys, welcome back to Coding Cafe. My name is Mohamed Ali and in the previous video tutorial, as you remembered, we have allowed a user to successfully create a brand new account using the Firebase real-time uh, database and the Firebase authentication. Here you can see it. So if you have not watched that video tutorial, then please go and watch that video tutorial first. In this video tutorial, we are going to implement the sign-in feature. I mean, we will allow the user to sign in into the main application using the Firebase uh, authentication. But one thing uh, which in the previous video tutorial we forgot is that here you can see full name. I mean, we are passing the unique user ID of uh, the user, okay, with the username and also full name. Now we forgot to change here. I mean, we are getting the full name, username, email, password, but when we are storing it, after authenticating the user with the Firebase authentication, when we store the data, user data, save user info in the Firebase real-time database, then we forgot to change that here, okay? So with the full name, I mean, we have to pass the full name. So just write, I mean, here it is, string full name, okay? These variables, I mean the data which a user will type on the I mean here, okay, full name, username, email, and password. We are getting it and we have to store that inside the real-time database also after the uh, authentication using the Firebase authentication. So anyways, I mean, let's just quickly change this username and then we have email. So pause the email here and bio, email, username, full name, and image, yeah. I mean the default one, okay. So yeah, you can see it. Now, what's next? Let's just uh, remove the previous data since you know that it is not, I mean, we just forgot something there, which is, uh, that is, we were, we were passing the user ID, okay? So let's just run the app, go to the main application first, and then we are going to start work on our sign-in uh, activity. So here you can see our app is running now and now let's go to the sign up page and let me type quickly. I mean, let's create a brand new account or more so that we can see if everything is working fine or not. And email. And then password. So yeah, let's just register. Oh, sorry, the email address is badly formatted. I mean, it give us the toast message. So we have to write correct email address. I just put semicolon here, okay? So yeah, this is my email. Account has been created and let's just check it. Here you can see it also in the database. Now it is fine, okay? Here you can see it. Now the next thing is to allow the user to sign in but before we work on the sign in we have to allow the user to log out from the main app when a user click on log out only then we will implement the sign in uh, activity so yeah for that uh, what we're gonna do is we need to just go to our page which is our account settings account settings activity and here we will implement it so open the xml file for this page which is our this one account settings.xml and here we have this uh, logout button this one okay so just copy the id of this logout btn okay copy it and come here and inside our this on create we can just say paste this and make sure to import this by pressing all enter and if you are using mac and press option enter button on your keyboard so yeah now the next thing is to set on click listener on it so how to allow i mean sign out the user you can say firebase auth dot get instance dot sign out this one okay and then we have to send the user to the uh, first activity, which is our login activity. So for that, uh, come here to the sign up activity. I mean, I'm going to copy paste this intent quickly just for the time saving and paste it here. And when a user click on the logout button, we are on the account settings 
activity and we want to send the user to the login activity so which is by the name sign in activity sign in activity and yeah that's it okay so once you do this this is the logout now let's come to our uh, sign in activity and let's implement our sign in feature using the firebase authentication quickly so go to the xml file for this activity which is our sign in and when a user click on this logo, uh, login button so copy this Just come back here and here after this inside our on create we can say i mean just press this dots uh, set on click listener and here we are going to call a method which is to log in the user so we can give it a name as we will now create this method okay so we can give it a name as login user this is our new method which now we will create okay so create function login user here we go remove this to do and this is our function and then here now just for the time saving what I am going to do is go to the sign up activity and from here let us just quickly copy paste this thing which is email and password okay and we will change it on our sign up so this is our I mean these IDs are not on our uh, sign up uh, sign in page so remove these IDs and let's just use the proper IDs for from our sign in okay in a, because that one was for the sign up so here for the email we have email login copy it and paste it here email login dot text and then we have password login copy it and paste that here so yeah I mean that's it now come back to the sign up activity from here what we need next is to basically let's just write this manually and then we will come past the rest of the code which we will be needing so put two curly braces and in here what we need to do is we need to just copy this email and password okay so copy this control C and paste it here so if email or password field is empty we are going to notify the user to that his email is required and password is required which means that user must enter these things okay so now the next thing is to basically yeah if both are okay then we will execute the else statement which is to allow the user to log login okay so just come here and after this one you can say else and make sure to put two curly braces okay just like this and now in here sorry we don't have to do it like this just like this I mean inside our this uh, when we have to implement this inside our when sorry I mean let us just move it and, and from here here okay so inside this one we can say else and now in here we can from the sign up activity let us just copy paste this progress dialog and all this thing from here come back here and paste that whole code here so we are on the sign in activity so we can just say sign in activity set title and this will be our sign in or you can say login please wait this may take a while and then we are displaying the progress dialog or you can say progress bar and then we can say yeah I mean just copy this and paste it here and then we can say I'm auth dot sign in user with email and password sign in user with email and password then we have to pass the email and then the second parameter which is the password dot add on complete listener mm, sorry not new I mean uh, just add on complete listener I just forgot I mean I write always the uh, Java code which is not implementable in Kotlin okay so inside here 
do not just uh, give extra space to this add-on complete okay just like this because it will display error all you will need is just like this i mean these two curly glasses must be like in this style hope you understand this and then in here we can say if task so here we forgot to write task okay and then we can say if task dot is successful then we are going to dismiss the dialog so we can say progress dialog dot dismiss and we are going to send the user to the main application so for that let's just copy paste this intent from here instead of writing it again sorry i got it <laughs> control c and just paste that here okay just like this make sure to change this to sign in activity so from the sign in activity to the main activity and if a user click on the back button then it must not send the user back to the login activity unless and until the user log out from the main application and in case if any error occur then you know we have to display the error so just copy this from the sign up page and paste it here so simple and so easy okay so we are ready to test our application so let's just run the application now so the application is running now successfully and if you close the app and then again run it then it will send us to the main application and i hope you know about this that we are using the firebase authentication so only the user will be log out i mean we will send the user to the login activity in that case if the user click on the log out button here you can see it it sent user back to the login activity and now let's check our uh, login that is it is working fine or not okay so this is the email hope you know it okay and then let's just type the password and then click login please wait this may take a while and here we go so we are now logged in successfully so yeah we have successfully implement this now from the next tutorial we will allow a user to upload and add a new post or you can say pictures inside this instagram clone app using the firebase real-time database so yeah if anyone is new to our channel then please subscribe our channel coding cafe don't forget to follow me on my twitter and instagram account especially so that you will never miss any single update from coding cafe take care of yourself and bye for now peace out till then